Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Audio Things Minibit Synthesizer. Just been updated, it's added zoom and scroll. Honestly, I'm not really sure what that is. Um, fixed, the most important thing for me was it's now fixed the custom uh, wave menu that was not working in AUV3, so I've got it in AUM. So if we click on this, I've just got a basic patch. If we click on this now, we can choose custom one to eight. So let's choose custom one and then hit editor. And now we can draw our own custom waveform. Which is very cool. Or you can choose from some basic shapes that uh, Audio Thing have put in for you. And then you can kind of make your own adjustments or you can or you can copy this waveform go to custom 2 and paste make a few adjustments now these will kind of be remembered so if we come out of the uh, well if we come out of the editor go to say a where go back into say custom two you'll see that it's it's remembered our waveform so that's a global setting if your volume ever gets a bit quiet for instance you can go in here and you have global settings and you have a volume boost you can boost up to 12 db so if we go a bit louder but must remember that this is a global setting. So if you have an other patch that's really loud, you have to be careful because that will be remembered. Let's put po po poly on, polyphony. So now, now we've got a poly synth. Let's give that a little bit of volume boost, shall we? 6 dB. So you have two filters, high pass. Well, this is a low pass. And a high pass. Get rid of that volume boost. You have a delay. A crusher. Which also has a down sample. You have let's sync our LFO. You have an LFO, so let's give it an amount. You can have that just sync to frequency. The LFO also has an extended mode, so you can go. I mean, into audio range, you can't even hear it now. And this is where you assign your LFO, so you can assign it to volume. Cut off. Let's turn that LFO range back to normal. And also to the down sampler. Okay, and you can have the LFO synced or free running. I just mentioned that, right? Okay, so the turn this off one of the coolest things of course about mini bit is the actual sequencer so if we tap on this we access our sequencer and i've got it set on one eight but you can see you can go 130 to one bar but you can also set it to any rate you like right okay sequencer steps 
you can have up to eight leave it set on eight but you can go anywhere from one to eight okay let's open this up this is very cool the sequencer is always running so if i play a note you'll see the sequencer starts to track across here let me just randomize this now and you'll see different pitches appear i'll switch pitch on and you can do this for your volume as well let's randomize again and it reacts to polyphony of course i mean the best way you can you can double tap these to reset them like this and then you can set the pitch yourself so you can go up and down minus plus or minus two octaves or anywhere in between obviously so you could do like going up in semitone so um let's just set this to let's see plus uh minus one also go plus one and we go plus two plus three and then we could go um minus one minus two minus three then minus four and it'll just go like up and down okay and this is just holding one note but you could play a chord so let's reset those like this and oh hang on right and then you can do the same at switch pitch off you can do the same at volume or randomize switch it off and you could do the same with the cutoff so and you've also got the very cool fact that you can do this with the waveform as well so if we switch on it's all going to be triangle but we can change to any of these waveforms, including the custom stuff. If we go further up, so custom two, what we had, maybe a saw there, a EP there, a, I don't know, a, a bell on this one. So every single sound is kind of going to change. It's this um, triangle. We'll have this on the guitar and maybe square so every sound changes very cool but you can also do it with the sample rate which is down here just randomize it and glide some stuff or you can just choose to switch it all off and just program the synth as normal you have fine tune tune volume for the waveform nice sub oscillator let's get this back to a basic start and it's basically a square or a triangle Also, uh, another nice thing is the fact that the glide is polyphonic. So if we switch this on. Which is very cool. 
you also get, of course, a load of factory stuff you can play with, which includes some already uh, kind of <laughs> sort of built-in sequences. And of course the resolution. Which is great for doing like proper chip tuny type stuff. Very cool. Like I said, you get some global settings. You can of course randomize. Very cool. So there you go. Minibit is updated. And if you're one of the people who missed having your custom waveforms available inside your kind of AUV3s. That's been fixed for you now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, strike the like, subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. And I will see you later. Ta-da!